Hey guys, I hope you are all well. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my really simple and easy shea butter and coconut mix. As you can see, I've already opened the shea butter. Uh, this is my own shea butter and it is a 300ml container. Um, it's Ugandan shea butter, so it's from the east of Africa and it is actually different to West African shea butter where it's like, it's a lot more easy to apply and rub into the skin well it's a lot it basically melts a bit easier but yeah it's different in that sense and this here is the coconut oil that I use this is Nutiva Nutiva coconut oil and I ordered this online um, this is a really big container it's 54 fluid ounces or 16 liters no 1 point not 16 liters <laughs> or 1.6 liters and um, I've already used a little bit because I do also make my own lip balms. So here are my measuring cups. I'm going to be using the half cup measurement. And what I'll do is I'll actually scoop out the shea butter first. So I'll just be scooping it out from here with a spoon. Just scoop it out and stick it in there. You really can actually eyeball this, but what I tend to do is um, when I kind of want to be a bit more accurate is I just kind of measure it into into this um, measuring cup I love 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 cups um, we tend not to use cups in um, in the UK we tend to use grams and ounces and stuff but I really thought that I don't know I think that it's much easier to use cups to measure stuff so that's what I do sometimes. This is my shea butter. I'm actually going to add a little bit more because I don't think some of it has reached uh, the bottom of the cup. So that's that cup measured there. And I'll just scoop it out into the bowl. And this is the simplest thing. And then I take a second spoon, clean one, and then I'll measure out the coconut oil. And just scoop it out of this container coconut coconut oil let's try and get enough in there I feel like I am using quite a lot but then I realized that actually I'm going to be using this can this um, amount for at least at least three times so yeah so I do try and get the quantities equal but um, usually a little less coconut oil. So you can see it's not exactly full and that's how I do, and that's how I measure that. Then I scoop it out. So once you have your ingredients in the bowl, you can then go ahead and mix them. This is the one that I use. I got it from Argos. It cost about $14.99 and definitely a good investment because you can use it for all kinds of things cakes obviously your hair mixes and such things get it stuck in and go So I'm about to shampoo and wash my hair, so I'm just going to leave it as this, um, unfragranced and put it in my container. So I try my best to get as much as possible off the mixer itself. Um, and then I go ahead and scoop into my trusty container. Have our shea butter and coconut oil mix right here organic and amazing for your hair when I first used this I was like oh my god 
why didn't I try this sooner? Apply it to your hair when and as needed. I usually put it on my hair after I've washed it um, and it gets locked in with the twists with the Bantu knots and the next day your hair is moisturized and soft and just feeling really really healthy. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure there's loads and loads of variations out there, but this is how I do it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!